All right, here we go. What's going on, everyone? It's Abdallah here, along with Gizmo, and we are gonna set up our Nintendo Switch live in front of a YouTube audience, which is all of you guys. So, thanks for coming, and again, shoutouts to our friends over at Nintendo of America, who have uh, been very generous, and they were able to send me a Nintendo Switch that we're actually holding on to right over here. So, for all of you guys that are watching this at home, uh, March 3rd can't come soon enough. If you guys are watching after March 3rd, definitely use this as a guide as to, hey, you know what, this is the time when Abdallah unboxed the Switch, and now he's, <laughs> he, I, have, I have not even touched it other than recording my unboxing video. So I'm pretty excited for it. Um, again, Nintendo, you guys rock. And I've been waiting for a Nintendo Switch for the longest time and <laughs> man, it's finally happening. So thank you guys for coming out. Uh, all of you guys who are excited for it, definitely smash that like button. Give me a thumbs up if you guys have a pre-order waiting for you on March 3rd. But uh, without further ado, let's jump on into this. Uh, <laughs> okay, so once you get your Nintendo Switch, um, all you have to do is plug it in, right? It's pretty obviously, I, I don't really have to show you where to plug it in. Um, but you will also need to hook up your HDMI cable. So there's literally only two things. I don't know if I could show you. Yeah, actually, I can, I can show you. This is, the, uh, this is the Switch dock. So uh, in case you guys didn't see, in order to get your gameplay on your screen uh, for capturing, for... Uh, you name it, for anything, for just watching in general, you're going to need two components. Right over here on the back is this little, um, this little port where you guys can see right over here, AC adapter. Boom, that goes to your power cable. It's USB Type-C, which is sweet. And of course, you have your HDMI out. You simply put your HDMI out into your monitor, into your capture card. Uh, I'm currently using an Elgato HD60 for this tutorial. But yeah, that's really how you do it. And then just uh, make sure you close that on up. Make sure it's uh, nice and snapped closed. And you're good to go. So as you guys can see, this is the uh, Nintendo Switch right here. I'm, I'm super pumped to show this to you guys. Uh, but we do have one hour to show you the ropes of Nintendo Switch and answer any kind of questions that you guys have. So this is it. Now keep in mind, if you do take it out of the dock plate, uh, I think I could do it like this. If you take it out of the dock plate, it's going to disconnect from your source. As you guys can see, my Elgato uh, HD60 Pro is saying that there's no signal. So keep that in mind. And you guys can see right over here that this is the switch. We're gonna put it on back in. And that should connect back to the TV. It's awesome. That is super cool. <laughs> so there you guys have it. Ladies and gentlemen, Nintendo Switch right here, uh, courtesy of Nintendo of America. Uh, I'm very excited for it because not only am I a big fan of Zelda uh, Breath of the Wild, but I can't wait for all the games that come out. <laughs> Oh, I can't believe today has actually come. So, uh, not only that, I got rid of my braces. See? Ooh, nice. <laughs> a lot of you guys that are fans of my channel already know that I've been in braces for like over a year. So, anyway, uh, we unfortunately, due to embargo restrictions, I cannot show you any Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild footage, but don't worry, you guys are all subscribed and you guys are going to see uh, so much content. Oh my gosh, you have no idea. I'm going to go hide in the basement and I'm gonna go record all this Zelda for you guys. It's gonna be amazing. Your minds are gonna be blown. Um, other things that came in the box are the uh, the Joy-Con grip right over here. You can put the Joy-Con controllers right in here and you can pretty much play like this rather than holding on to that. So we might do something like that. And of course you do have the, uh, the Joy-Con, uh, what are these, the Joy-Con straps that you put onto the little Joy-Con controllers and you're good to go. So. I'm ready for it. Let's go. If you guys didn't already, smash that like button. Let's do it. Uh, so, I, <laughs> I don't even know where to start. I guess I'm just going to press the uh, the A button, right? Uh, let's move my camera over a little bit. I guess we're going to choose English. Uh, a, okay. Do I have to, like, press something else? What is this? Give me this thing. Hmm. Why did that do that? Region. The Americas. Oh, I don't know if I can, hold on. Hmm. Can you guys hear that? It says A back, wait, maybe, maybe I should put the uh, the Joy-Con grip. Maybe that'll work. Let me try that out. Because I know that off screen, I can just easily do this stuff, but I don't want to do that for you guys. I mean, it's really all about hooking up. Oh, cool. <laughs> We're in! <laughs> I can just hold them like these! Heck yeah, let's go! 
Let's go. Okay, mate. Hold on. Hold on. Maybe I should put these Joy-Con straps on, right? Joy-Con straps are a little tricky. Uh, in case you guys didn't know, you have to pay attention to the minus sign uh, right over here. As you guys can see, the minus sign matches up like this. So that means that Joy-Con strap uh, is going to go in like so from the top bottom. Bam! And of course, the other one, uh, you match up the pluses. As you guys can see right here, bam, you match up the pluses, plus and plus, and this one is from top down. There we go, that nice little click. All right, so end user agreement. Uh, let's see, uh, sure. Oh, this is great, <laughs> look at this. Oh yeah, <laughs> look at me setting the example of putting on the straps and not using them, right? <laughs> oh, we don't wanna repeat any history of the Nintendo Wii launch, you guys remember that? Raise your hand in the comments right now if you guys uh, remember, or at least hearing of people uh, playing like Wii Sports and like launching their uh, Wiimotes at their TVs and breaking them. So, in case, I got it covered. Here we go. Whoa. All right, we're ready. Uh, this is inter- yeah, you can use both of these things. Oh, this is so good. All right, dude. Um, I don't- I hope I won't have to put my uh, <laughs> Wi-Fi password in. I think I might. Oh, interesting. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna <laughs> put that away for a second there. Uh, nope, that's me. All right, here we go. Um, yeah, I don't think that'll work. Hold on, let me just put it into... Uh... <laughs> well, actually, you know what? Forget it. Here. I'll just change it after the stream. Uh, I think that's it. All right, can any of you guys get this? <laughs> Did any of you guys get that? <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Come on. I hope I spelled that right. Dude, no, I didn't spell it right. View the settings for this network, okay. Hold on, let me set up this thing with the Joy-Con controllers off so I can make sure I spelled that right, because I don't think I did. And I think some of you guys uh, may have gotten that. So here we go. I'm going to take these things right off. I don't like taking these Joy-Con grips off. It's really tough for me. I don't know if that's just me. <laughs> All right, so some of you guys were able to get that, but I'm going to try this out really quick. So make sure you guys know your Wi-Fi passwords and everything like that, because, yeah, it's hard to do that. So here we go. We're going to go back. We're going to search for networks, and we're going to get this thing all set up. But I am pumped, man. Uh, let's get this going. All right, we're going to clear settings. We're going to search for networks. All right, here we go. And we're going to do this again. I could have sworn I typed that in right. Okay, if it doesn't work, then I may have to try something else off screen. That's kind of lame. Come on. Hey, hey! Okay, I had a <laughs> spelling issue. All right, that's not that big of a deal. All right, so now that we have officially logged on to my wireless router, I'm going to put the Nintendo Switch right back into the Switch dock. We're going to come over here. Okay, so let's find our time zone, shall we? Um, forgive me for not putting these wrist straps back on, but I'm not going to be playing any games. So we are currently in Chicago time. That's right. Chicago represent. Set your icon and nickname. Uh, that's cool. Let's go. Okay, your icon can be changed at any time. Wow, look at these cool icons. More options? What? Character or me? Oh, dude. Okay, all right. In the comments, in the comments right now, tell me which one of these is your favorite and which one you are going to put on your Nintendo Switch. Oh, dude, this is great. We got a bunch of Zelda Twilight Princess ones. We got some Skyward Sword ones. Oh, this is great. Oh, Wind Waker. We got Animal Crossing. Who are you guys going to be? Splatoon Inklings? 
Oh, that's so good. Uh, we've got Met Why is Samus here? Is that kind of hinting that there's going to be another Samus and Metroid game on the Switch sometime soon? I don't know. Well, I mean, Metroid is a pretty popular franchise. Um, we got Star Fox, you got Pikmin, you got the Samus symbol, you got your me. You could probably go me. I don't know if I want to try me, but do I? Can I actually start from copy from Amiibo? Choose a lookalike. Uh, I don't have a me amiibo, and I don't want to start from scratch. But in case you guys want to do that, you guys could do it. Choose a lookalike. I don't know if that's like gonna be <laughs> if there's like a camera function where you're gonna have to like look into this. You know what? Here, come here, come here. I'm gonna test this out. You look into the camera, and it chooses your me. Oh, come on, get out of here. Never mind. I was totally thinking it would like scan your face with the IR camera, and it would make a me out of you. But no, I don't want these generic Miis. No, not at all. All right, so you can copy your me from the Amiibo. A lot of you guys like Link from Twilight Princess. That's a really good one. I like that a lot. Um, but Mario is pretty classic. These are like the Mario Party ones. Ah, uh, this looks great. Character and me. Oh, and you can change the background color too. Oh, look, all the colors of the rainbow. Dude, that's sweet. I kind of like this blue. So we're gonna choose that blue, and I think since I'm gonna be playing Legend of Zelda um, Breath of the Wild all day <laughs> from here until March 3rd, uh, I'm totally, totally gonna be picking um, Link because Link's my man. Remember when a lot of you guys thought he was a girl? <laughs> They're like, yeah, Link's gonna be a girl in the new one. Uh, Shift, I think Shift is here. No, that's not, that's keyboard. Uh, hello? Oh, shift is... Oh, left trigger. Dang, that's awesome. You you t you tap in the left trigger and it makes it uh, caps. Oh, that's so good. All right. Okay, and then boom. And yes, you can plus the plus. You can press the plus button whenever you're ready. All right, so we've got Abdallah. You can add additional users, as you guys can see. I don't think I ever need to do that. If Jess is gonna come on board and play along with me, we'll just use my um, my functionality. But for all of you guys at home with uh, many different kids or, um, I don't know, different people that share the same Nintendo Switch, you guys can absolutely do that. Okay, parental controls can be used to restrict the features. You know what I should do? Instead of being like blasphemous and not wearing these without the Joy-Con straps, what do you say we put them into the Joy-Con grip? Would that be cool? Would you guys like that? Give me a thumbs up if you guys would like to uh, do that instead, because I, I think that would be a little bit cooler. So in case you guys haven't seen Joy-Con grip, put it in there and then click. All right, so good, so good. Boom. Whoa, is this like reflecting light? What is that? All right, whatever. Oh, this is great. It's like a little a little flat-headed <laughs> flat pro controller. All right, uh, we don't need parental controls, but in case you're, uh, you're a parent and you don't want your kids doing certain things or allowing a certain amount of time for gameplay, I would totally suggest you guys um, set up your parental controls just so that you guys are good. All right, cool. But we're going to skip that for this demonstration. Oh, the sounds, man, the sounds. Okay, uh, press the home button to open up the home menu. Uh, in case you guys don't know where the home button is, it's right over here. Bam! Wow, that, like, lighting, it's, like, just shining. The aura, the aura off of this is pretty crazy right now. You can see the lighting off my jacket, it's just bouncing. That's cool. All right, not only am I in awe of this thing, but, whew. All right, pressing the home button, boom, just like that. Insert a game card or download software from the Nintendo eShop. Okay. Well, uh, as of right now, we don't have the ability to do that because I'm playing this before Nintendo Switch comes out. There is going to be a day one update that will allow all of you guys to do so. So uh, let's take a look and see what we can do. Uh, this kind of looks like the Nintendo 3DS lineup. If you guys remember on the Nintendo 3DS, you have all of your different softwares lined up, your folders, everything. But we'll actually see what's going on. So let's click on news and uh, let's go through all this, right? Oh, this is great. Okay. Uh, the latest news direct to your Nintendo Switch. All right, this is looking pretty good. Uh, what do we need to do with this? So, news feed. Oh, you can press the uh, the control stick, any, any one of these to go up and down. All right, welcome to news. This is where you'll find all sorts of information about Nintendo Switch. What kind of information can you expect? Probably stuff like this. 
Uh, sales and special offers on games, videos of uh, new and upcoming games, news about gaming events, so basically a lot of stuff about games. <laughs> we'll also have news about your Nintendo Switch console itself, including tips and updates when we add new features. All right, that'll, uh, that'll do to start, but we'll probably have other kinds of news in the future. Just stay tuned. So, to receive the latest news, you have to set up an internet connection and a linked Nintendo account. Let's do that. Uh, system update is required before you can proceed. I don't think that'll allow us to update... So I can't receive news right now, but as soon as you guys get this day one update, you guys will be able to receive news and you guys will probably be able to link uh, your Nintendo network ID, which I hope a lot of you guys already did uh, get at least your domain name. I was pretty lucky because I heard a lot of people were claiming other people's ID IDs and that's not cool. So all of you guys out there, don't go grabbing like all the other like YouTubers ID names. It's, it's just not cool. Don't do that. Anyway, this is the information center for the Nintendo eShop. Uh, have you been by the eShop yet? It's great. You can browse, buy, and download games right from your console. And it's easy to get started. Just link or create a Nintendo account and be sure you're connected to the internet. Always chock full of games uh, for every kind of taste and any budget, plus a bunch of free content like game trailers and demos. See which games are most popular with other fans or check out the newest releases. It's all waiting on the Nintendo eShop. And of course, we can't do it yet because of the update. Not that big of a deal. All right, so playing on the big screen, they're all playing Mario Kart. Imagine the whole gang of the Mario universe playing Mario Kart together. <laughs> that would be awesome. Playing on the big screen. So as you guys can see right over here, just like I said earlier, all you need is two cables and uh, your HDMI, which is the further over one, and then your power cord. That's really it. Uh, and wow, look at that. That's exactly my tutorial. Uh, so put your HDMI into your TV or game capture software like my Elgato HD60 and HD60 Pro. Uh, and then you just plug it into the power. Look at Toad. <laughs> Look at the face on Toad. Oh, it's so funny. And then, uh, yeah, you put the, uh, the left Joy-Con and the right one. You snap it in place. Oh, dude, these little animations are cool looking. And this looks like Mario Kart, or this looks like something. I don't know what the heck they're doing. That's crazy. All right. So along with your Nintendo Switch console, Nintendo uh, sends some hardware to connect to your console to a TV. Okay, first, yeah, this is pretty much everything that I explained in the very beginning. So that's good. Playing on the big screen. It totally looks like Mario Kart. Or is that another game? What game do you guys think that is? That's not Splatoon. It's not colorful enough to be Splatoon. Okay, all about charging. So, yeah, uh, we've had all the battery run out uh, at just the wrong moment in the game, right? Not me. Anyway, uh, might uh, want to know something about charging so you don't have to suffer like I did that terrible, terrible day. Okay, raise your hand in the comments if you were playing any kind of game and you ran out of juice. Uh, be it on your Nintendo 3DS, be it on your Game Boy Advance, be it anywhere. Even on your old school Game Boy from like the 80s, man. That's uh, crazy. I think it's happened to me once or twice, especially when I was younger. Uh, when I was younger and I was playing Pokemon Generation 1 or Generation 2, I had my uh, Nintendo... Was that, was that my, like my Game Boy Color? Uh, and then I totally forgot that the batteries were low and then out of nowhere, boom. I lost all my work for the day. I know Enzo, I don't know if you guys can hear Enzo in the back, but yeah, it's happened, it's happened. Uh, okay, so how do you charge the console? Uh, you can plug it straight into the adapter, and of course, how do you charge the Joy-Con controllers? Just attach them to the console while it's charging. Uh, so I don't know if uh, this thing actually charges them. No, I don't think this does. I think this just holds them in place. Maybe. Uh, where do I check how much battery is left? Uh, the console's battery shown in the, is in the home menu. You can look at the controller's charge by selecting controllers on the home menu. Let's take a look at that. Boom. Wait. Oh, okay. Um, I guess that's... Oh, controllers. Here we go. Whoa, pair of new controllers. Controllers. So it looks like my battery power is like around 75%. That's pretty cool. You can pair some new controllers. And I hear that if you have an extra set of controllers and you want to pair them, like let's say, for example, you're bringing your Nintendo Switch to a friend's house, but you want to use your controllers, all you have to do is literally, uh, I think, click on pair controllers and then just attach them to the console. Get that nice click and you're all set. That's cool. Connect using a USB charging cable. And you got that Pro Controller there too. That's awesome. And then you'll see it. And then hold the sync button. Boom. As easy as that. I wish I had another set to show you guys. But uh, that's cool. All right. So where were we? We were looking at news. 
So a lot of you guys have actually had that happen to you where you lost power on something. I'm sorry to hear, guys. That's uh, that's kind of bad. All right, so take screenshots, show your friends. Okay, let's look. Uh, on an adventure and see some uh, striking scenery. What game is this that they're playing? Is that uh, <laughs> Just Dance 2017? Uh, bringing down the house with your soulful solo. Oh, look at this guy actually taking a picture of a screen. Ha <laughs> ha. Okay, quick press the capture button in case you guys haven't seen that. Uh, this is the home button right here. And then this is the capture button. So you press this and then it gets saved to your album. Okay, so that, whoa, okay, what did I do here? Oh, hold on, go back. Screenshots, show your friends. Okay, you can press L and R to zap through both of these. Oh, but that's not all. You can also add text uh, to a screenshot and post your favorite social media sites. Those, share those gaming moments with your friends. Attention, avid screenshot photog screenshotographers. Really, that's a word, okay. Okay, if you want to be able to save a lot of pictures, you might want to buy yourself a micro SD card. <laughs> you might want to buy, you know what? Let's do it. Whoa, we just did it. Cool. Oh, that was awesome. I, that was as simple as that. Okay, let's go back and find a cool picture. Like, this is cool. Okay, so out of all five, I'll give you guys a chance to vote. And based on what you guys vote in the comment section below, we'll take the screen cap. So out of all five of these, which one is your favorite? And I'll screen cap it and I'll share it on Twitter if we can possibly do that with this little setup. So, is it one with Yoshi and Mario? Is it Luigi and Toad? Is it Princess Peach and Toad? Or is it Bowser being menacing and putting that in there? Or is it the whole gang? I'll let you guys do that and we'll take that screen cap. It, that's cool, that's really cool. All about charging, taking screen caps, showing your friends. Uh, system memory can hold about a thousand screenshots, but with a micro SD card, you can hold up to 10,000 of them. Whoa, that's cool. Wow, look at this guy. Oh, what is he doing? He's just sleeping. He's just laying on the couch with this thing. He's, he's just out. He's just out, man, this guy. All right, so what is this? Um, <laughs> Enjoy the quick settings. Oh, have you found yourself in the dark thinking, hmm, the screen's a little dark, or why can't I just put the console to sleep right from the game? If so, say hello to quick settings. All right, I'm looking at a lot of your guys' comments right now, and a lot of you guys are saying that number five is the best one. And I think number five is, is really the best one, too, because it's, it's got everyone on board, right? So let's do that. Let's screen cap number five. A lot of you guys like number one. That's, that's cool. I like number one. I like all of them. So here we go. We are going to get our second screen cap just by pressing this. Watch. Three, two, one. Boom. Capture taken. So we now have that. Uh, let's see. You'll receive news about the system updates. Okay, got it. All right, that looks pretty interesting. Let's actually go back to our main menu. Let's take a look at album. And here are the screen caps that we did. Oh, that's great. So let's look at editing and posting. Oh, awesome. So I don't know what this option is because I'm kind of in the way. Okay, so system update is required before you can proceed. No worries. I don't know if that's the share button. Here, let me disappear for a second. What is that? Hold on, hold on. What are we doing here? Go back. Oh, wait, here we go. Editing and posting. So what is that for? Oh, okay. So apparently, apparently I can't post yet. That's fine. That, that's perfectly fine. The fact that we can do so is super cool. So let's do a little bit of add text. Uh, what do you guys want to say? Uh, let's see. Uh, how good am I at shift? Oh, we got that hashtag, right? Let's just do hashtag Nintendo Switch. Oh yeah, that's way better. Like using the actual D-pad or yeah, the little circle circular D-pad. Uh, it looks, a, it feels a lot better than using the actual controller. Our uh, Nintendo. That's an S? <laughs> S, this is a W? Good. I, T. Uh, is this a C? Yeah, that's a C. <laughs> and a Nintendo Switch. All right, cool. And just for shortcut purposes, we're going to press this plus. Bam, instead of scrolling all the way over there. So now we have, wow, okay. Uh, wow, this is great. Okay, you can go size of the lettering. Super cool. Uh, position and angle. Wow, that's great. So Nintendo Switch. Here, how about I bring it all the way on top? Boom. Okay, done, right, right. Uh, color, yeah, you can go a whole bunch of colors. 
What do you guys like? I think red and black is pretty cool. It doesn't really pop much. Black and white doesn't pop too much. Uh, pink is pretty sweet. Uh, yellow and black, man. That's a little yokai watch right there. Any yokai watch fans? <laughs> that's yellow and black, man. Uh, what else do we have? Green and white looks great. Yeah, just a lot of cool different uh, colors. But this is for, my, for all my yokai watch fans out there. Uh, we're going to go yellow and black. Do -do 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 do 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 Done. That's a screen cap. We're all set. So we had we added some text. I don't know if there's a way of like kind of moving or like zooming into a certain frame because there's a lot of dead space on the other side over there. So I don't know if that's going to be an update later on where you can kind of pinch zoom or like um, scale back. I don't know. We'll see. Editing and posting. Add text, copy, or delete. So that's pretty much it. All right, not bad. Uh, I don't need this one, so I'll show you guys. We can actually straight up... No, I don't need to copy it. And I don't have an SD card inside there. So we're going to straight up delete that. Editing and posting. Uh, yeah, we're set. And we don't necessarily need this one anymore either. So we can go press delete and we're good. So there we have it. Ladies and gentlemen, that is how you make a screen cap with uh, the Nintendo Switch. Looking cool. eShop. I know, Enzo. We have to wait till the update. We can't go. No worries, no worries. Okay, so yeah, we're looking at quick settings over here with this bum on the couch. Uh, and this guy's like, ah, it's too bright. Turn it down a little bit. <laughs> and this, I don't I don't understand this little picture. Someone please tell me what this guy's trying to do. Like, I don't know. All right, so quick settings. Press, uh, just hold the uh, home button and a screen will pop up that lets you easily get at some frequently used features. What features? It's like I'm in your head with you, isn't it? <laughs> what? Uh, check these out. Put the console to sleep, adjust the screen brightness, and turn off airplane mode. Okay. This is sleep mode. This bum on the couch is like, yeah, too much Zelda Breath of the Wild. I'm just going to go to sleep. You can go to sleep too, Nintendo Switch. So he's going to press and hold that one. This one's screen brightness, and this is airplane mode. Yeah, because that's an airplane. Okay. Uh, give it a try sometime. It's super handy. Oh, you can adjust the screen's brightness when you're connected to a TV. All right, so let's do it. We're going to press and hold the uh, home button. Hey, look at that. Sleep mode, airplane mode. Cool. Huh. There we go. <laughs> Just put the thing asleep. All right, moving on to the next thing. Setting up the tabletop mode. Now, tabletop mode is super cool. Uh, I posted a picture on Twitter of uh, the Nintendo Switch with the little kickstand. As you guys can see, the kickstand right over there. And there's a cat. Wow, there's a cat. What's he doing over there? He's probably going to knock that thing down. Oh, my. What is, <laughs> what is that cat? Oh, that's right. Okay. So tabletop mode, uh, in case you guys didn't see, there's a little kickstand on the back of the Nintendo Switch. Uh, and with that, you can easily um, pretty much set it up to play uh, whenever you want, just like on your tabletop. I know that I'm going to be like eating cereal in the morning, and I'm going to have my Nintendo Switch right there, and like a Joy-Con controller in one hand. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. Just I can't pry myself away from playing Nintendo Switch right now. It's just too cool. So yeah, apparently, and this guy's like, oh yeah, wait, let me, uh, let me put this back in. But of course, you have to put the kickstand back or else you're going to snap that thing right off. So be very careful about when you guys do that. Have you heard of tabletop mode? It's great for when you want to take the Joy-Con controllers off the console or you want to prop up the screen so that everyone can see it. Uh, by switching the tabletop mode is the easiest thing in the world. Flip open the stand on the back, but you'll have to supply your own table. Tables not included. BYOT, bring your own table. Uh, but don't forget to put the stand back before you dock the console. If you accidentally knock the stand off, you'll probably pop it back into place, but... Uh, don't do it so often or else it'll weaken the stand. All right. So be warned. It's going to happen to someone. I know it. They're going to be like, hey, Nintendo, can I buy a new stand? It's going to happen. People are <laughs> just like the Wiimote straps. Oh, my God. That's crazy. All right. Here we go. Uh, moving on. Sa tabletop mode. Where do I put the micro SD card? That's a good question. All right. So there's a ninja. <laughs> Look at these little things. So there's a ninja on screen over here uh, holding uh, the micro SD card. So this ninja has to be like this big. Uh, so in case you have a micro SD card, you put it right underneath the kickstand. If you've never put a micro SD card in your console before, take a look around to see if you can find the slot for, uh, for now. It's kind of hidden. Give up. Here's a hint. Have you ever used a stand in the back of your console? Open up the stand. You'll find a little snake. All right. You can buy a micro SD card if you're worried about running out of storage space for software and DLC and stuff. Oh, and when you want to take the micro SD card out, push it until you hear the click before pulling out. Same with when you pull back, uh, or when you put it back in, push the here click. Okay. 
That's cool. And then uh, this is pretty much play timers. Man, <laughs> that's cool. I think I'd do that. Like if I had a kid, I'd be like, look, get your homework done. And if you get your homework done, I'll give you one hour of Nintendo Switch time. Boom. Any of you guys have parents that'll be, um, raise your hand in the comments. If you guys have parents that will be doing this kind of play timer parental control stuff, let me know. Because that's cool, right? It's kind of a reward because you don't want to turn into someone who just plays video games all day and that's like their job or anything. No, you don't want to be that. <laughs> uh, but no, no, no. Using it as a reward or just monitoring video game use is totally respectable. And I like that Nintendo actually thought of the parents um, who did that. That's pretty cool. Try setting a play timer. Hey, parents and guardians, you probably figured out the Nintendo Switch console has parental controls built in, but did you know there are other features you can use through your Nintendo account and your smart device? Obviously, you can use the building controls to do pretty much everything you need. Keep the little ones from play, playing the teen and mature rated games and whatnot, but the app is pretty handy. So there you go. It might uh, stop you from playing those super scary games that are not for your demographic. Um, a lot of you, some of you guys, some of you guys have parents that are a little, a little protective, and there's nothing wrong with that. Like, if you're a young kid, you're probably like, oh, man, come on, mom. <laughs> but once you get, like, my age, you, you, you understand. You understand where they're coming from. School is priority number one. You guys need to get on board. You guys need to get straight A's, 4.0 plus GPA, so that your parents don't have to pay to send you to school, all right? You get those free scholarships. That's the, that's the pro strat. <laughs> that's winning in real life. Uh, download Nintendo Switch Parental Controls app, then go to the App Store on your iOS device or the Google Play Store. Whoa, whoa, Nintendo Switch Parental Controls app? Wait a second, is that really a thing? Is that really a thing? Okay, Google, open up the Google Play Store. Hmm, I've never really used that command before, but that's pretty cool. All right, so what is this thing called, Nintendo Switch? I don't know if this is out yet. Nintendo Switch. Whoa, parental controls. Wow. No, not yet. Not yet. All I'm getting is Nintendo Switch Amino and all these other non-essential functions. But probably when March uh, 3rd comes around, this app will be ready and available for you guys. Once you've got the app registered to your console, it'll keep track of what everyone's playing and lets you set limits on total playtime in the day for certain users. Oh, one more thing. If you want to control who can use your credit card or current balance on Nintendo eShop, you can do that through your Nintendo account from the device. There you go. So, yeah, make sure that you don't use your parents' credit card to go on a shopping spree. And, hey, if you're a kid reading this, maybe show it to your parents so they can be totally comfortable with your Nintendo Switch experience. Yeah, right there, done. All the more reason, hey look, if you're a kid right now and you don't have a pre-order for Nintendo Switch, this is a reason for you guys to convince your parents, bring your parents on board, I'll, I'll talk to them. Um, but uh, no, it's, it's great because you can actually convince them, say, hey, you know what, I, I want, I'm gonna sacrifice my Christmas, Hanukkah, uh, Easter, whatever national holidays you celebrate, and I'm gonna sacrifice my birthday for Nintendo Switch on March 3rd, do that. And I'll say, well, I don't know about that. And then they say, you know what? Hey, look, there's parental controls and I promise I'll be a good kid, right? Got questions about Nintendo Switch? Oh, you can ask me. All right. Man, if there's only one place to go and find answers to all my, all my questions about Nintendo Switch. All right, uh, that's what I was saying yesterday. Luckily, I guess a passing genie heard me and granted my wish because I found Nintendo Support website. It's got all super detailed info on how to use the console, plus the latest on getting system updates and new features. Just enter the URL on your PC and smart device and you'll be good to go. Okay, there we go. Support.nintendo.com slash switch slash explore. That's as easy as that. Okay, that's really all the news that we're going to be going over. Uh, let's take a look. Nintendo eShop, it's locked until the day one update. Um, I don't, I did not unbox my copy of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild just yet. So you guys are going to have to hold off on that. Uh, this is controllers. We talked about the pairing system. Uh, this is system settings. Airplane mode, screen brightness. It cannot be set while connected to a TV. Okay. I would totally assume that if you guys are playing on the go and you want to maximize on your battery life, using the screen brightness right here and lowering it down a little bit would give you a little bit more longevity. Uh, screen lock uh, while in sleep mode. Interesting. Uh, lock the console so that the same button must be pressed three times in order to proceed when you exit sleep mode. Hmm. That's an interesting idea. Parental controls, internet connection, um, system memory. That's cool. So... Right off the bat, you can see it's got about 25, 26 gigabytes of space within the game. That's great. 
That's great. Uh, users, we got that. We got me. You can create your me. Oh man, I got to find a way of recreating my me. You can look at amiibo uh, themes. I don't know if you could scan any amiibo. Register. Register owner and nickname. Can I actually? Oh, <laughs> just when I thought I was going to end the stream. All right, amiibo. Uh, any amiibo suggestions? What do you guys want to see? Uh, how about mm, who's here? How about, okay, since I'm playing, <laughs> I don't, uh, I'm going to say Marth. I want to put Marth on there because I'm playing Fire Emblem Heroes right now, but I got a better one for you. I got a better one for you. Meet one of the coolest amiibo. Yes, tell me, okay, raise your hands if you guys have this amiibo. Tell me you do. Tell me you do. All right, here we go. Uh, what? Whoa, hey. <laughs> yes, the Wolf Link Amiibo. I can't wait to use it in Breath of the Wild. Uh, we can't really do anything besides set a nickname or change the owner. Uh, that's kind of cool. So there we have it. And uh, I don't think I have an owner for my Marth. So let's look. This is this is not the Amiibo you scanned before. Okay, fine. Uh, okay. Registering. Whoa, that's cool. All right, well, you know what? Now this is registered. Register owner and nickname. Boom, watch. Now he's registered to straight up me. Okay, that's cool. All right, what about Marth? Marth. How about this one? Remember Marth was like the, the most rare amiibo way back when amiibo first came out? Marth was, oh man, dude, that was, that was crazy. Marth, We Fit Trainer, uh, Villager... Create me! No, I don't want to create a me. You know, I always have a hard time replicating my one me that I made from 3DS, like, Generation 1, so... Anyway, there's an amiibo functionality themes. We can go basic white, we can go basic black. Oh, cool, look. Oh, dude, and, and I can only imagine that Nintendo is going to bring some new themes that we can buy from the eShop. Give me, like, a Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild theme that's, like, all in the background. That's cool. All right, so now we got this black. Oh, yeah, I like the white. I like classic white, but I also like black. So, hmm, that's a hard one. What do you guys like? Let me know in the comments. Black or white? What are you going to set up? Download the complete notifications? Sure. Friend notifications? I can't wait to find out what the friends list is going to be all about. Uh, sleep mode? Uh, this is contacts and sensors. Calibrate motion sticks. Calibrate motion controls. Test input devices. Uh, RGB range, adjust screen size, burn in. Uh, this is good. System update. Abdallah switch. That's cool. Uh, region, the Americas, date and time. Current date and time is 2.23 at 4.39. That's exactly right. How did you know? <laughs> You're connected to the internet. No duh. All right. You know, I think that's going to be it. Ladies and gentlemen, um, I think we're here. I think we're here. Let's do this. Let's do this. I think we have about um, 20 minutes of question and answer on what you guys want to see happen. Uh, man, I'm super excited for that. So that was really fun. That was super fun. All right. So what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to grab the uh, the chat and we're pretty much going to talk to you guys. It's, it's going to be super cool. So let me just add this chat in right here. And whatever questions you guys want to ask, uh, I'll just go through and we'll, we'll answer them. We'll, we'll talk about it for the next 20 minutes. And uh, we'll just have a good time with it. So, again, shout out to Nintendo America for providing the copy of the Nintendo Switch and the Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. I can't wait. I seriously can't wait. <laughs> Later on today, I'm going to be, like, at the grind, playing that Zelda, getting that footage for you guys. Uh, it's going to be so good. So, give me one second. Let me uh, switch this. And we should be able to get the YouTube Gaming Live chat in a moment. Boom. Okay, so this is the YouTube live chat. So let's see what you guys have to say. Okay, so uh, let's. Do we have something better to put on screen? I don't know. Um, I guess we can go to news, right? News is a little bit more friendly, right? I kind of like this. Like, boom, this is cool, right? Doing this, boom, just like that. That's a little bit better. Okay, so uh, let's see. All right, let's take a look. I do have my mouse right over here, so I'm gonna be answering whatever questions you guys wanna talk about. We're gonna do it in real time. 
So let's take a look. Uh, let's see. When will you put out gameplay? Uh, I will not, due to embargo regulations, Bryson gameplay, uh, I can't put out any gameplay until probably tomorrow. So what I'm going to be focusing on is Legend of Zelda preview content. Embargo only allows me 15 minutes of the game. So I'm thinking of doing a... Um, I don't know, like a countdown series. Like once a day, I'll give you guys like a two or three minute video of something cool in Legend of Zelda to get you guys pumped up for it. In the meantime, I'll be recording for my Let's Play for day one. So you guys can uh, look forward to that. It's going to be fun. All right, very good question, Bryson, uh, gameplay. Okay, what else do we have here? I'm looking at this. Dun, 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 dun. Will I play? Okay, Kimberly, Kimberly uh, Rocha says, will I play... Uh, 12 Switch. <laughs> I'm kidding. Will I play 1-2 Switch? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, Jess and I have some really, really fun ideas on how we're going to be playing 1-2 uh, Switch. It's going to be amazing. So I want you guys to look forward to it. Um, Jess and I, how many guys, raise your hand in the comments if you guys have seen my uh, Nintendo Switch, uh, what was that? The Chicago Experience. Jess and I were able to play a couple games on 1-2 Switch. We played Ball Count using the HD Rumble feature of these little Joy-Con. Oh my gosh, that's so cool. Like, legit, using HD Rumble. I wish there was, like, some sort of tech demo that you can play without a game so that I can show you guys that it's super awesome. So we'll play Ball Count. We'll do a whole bunch of fun stuff. So look forward to it. Look forward to it. Good question, Kimberly. That was awesome. Uh, let's see. <clears throat> Black theme, please. Uh, yeah, maybe. Can I do it from here? I don't think I can, right? No, I can't change themes with one hand. Um, no, maybe I can. I think I can do it with one hand. All right, well, let's try the black theme. All right, system settings. Themes, black themes. Boom, done. All right, so now we go back. And let's go back to news. Let's go back to this one. And what do you know? We were able to do it with one hand. Left-handed, mind you. Left-handed. <laughs> That's cool. All right, here we go. Um, Blue Flame Entertainment asks, uh, what other day one games might you play? Uh, that's a very good question, Blue Flame Entertainment. Um, day one, you can count on me giving you at least like 20 uploads of Legend of Zelda. You guys are going to be with me while I play that. Um, if I can somehow get uh, one, two switch, I'll just straight up buy it on day one anyway. Uh, so, I'll, yeah, one, two switch, definitely. I want to try out Super Bomberman R because playing Super Bomberman R at the Nintendo Switch Tour in Chicago was super fun. I mean, even even using this as a controller, just like this with like the SR, SL buttons and these little things over here, it, it was it was so fluid. I love that a lot. So you can kind of be playing that game, um, Bomberman R. I don't know what other ones that are really piquing my curiosity. Um, I know Ultra Street Fighter 2, the final challengers, is going to be really fun. So I just can't wait. It's going to be great. It's going to be really great. So thank you for the very awesome question, Blue Flame Entertainment. All right, so what else we got here? What else do we got? Any other questions? Okay, if Pokemon, here we go, Pink Moon. If Pokemon comes out on the Switch, will you play it? Oh, you bet I'll play it. Absolutely. What do they What do they call it? Like Pokemon Stars version. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Um, yes, uh, it is true. I can show the title screen of Legend of Zelda. Um, but I again, I don't. I have not filmed or recorded my unboxing video of Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild yet. So I'm not going to show you guys five minutes of the intro yet so if you guys want that stuff don't worry i'll give you guys lots of zelda content don't worry you guys are gonna be fine uh omar harold says uh will just be playing with yeah just will be playing one two switch and i'll try to get her on bomberman uh because bomberman is very easy especially because I'm, I'm a hardcore gamer and uh jess is a very casual super casual gamer like she rarely plays any video games but she was able to pick up and play bomberman pretty easily so yeah you can bet on jess uh coming on board uh, oh, cool. Thanks for the super chat, uh, Suleiman uh, Mazul. Uh, am I Algerian? No, I'm not Algerian. But uh, yeah, thank you. That's Super chat is a thing. This is my first time experiencing uh, super chat other than the Wibwab stream. So yeah, thank you so much for that. Uh, let's see. Yeah, you guys can actually super chat as well. If you click on this over here, uh, you can send a super chat 
for two bucks, five bucks, whatever you want. Oh, that's super. Oh, wow, dude. Are you kidding? Red super chat for $500? No way. No one's going to do that. But it's cool that you can just straight up donate to your favorite, um, to your favorite uh, people. That's, that's super cool. I'm not, you guys don't have to do that. Don't, don't feel pressured, but that's awesome. Buy and send. Yo, super chat, man. That's cool. $2 super chat, $5 super chat. And it looks like $1, you don't really get a message. But, oh, this one lasts there for two minutes. Oh, that's so cool. I, this is my first time looking at it. Wow, five minutes, 10 minutes, 30 minutes, five hours. Oh, man, that's cool. All right, back to the switch. All right, so uh, let's see. Um, let's do right over here. Will Smash Bros. come to the Nintendo Switch? The Ginger Woods uh, friend code asks. I honestly don't know. I don't know. I hope so. If they do some sort of Super Smash Bros. Melee remastered, that would be really cool. Uh, what did I do here? I don't want to go back. No, I don't want to. Toad, get off my screen. All right, fine, Toad, you can come on my screen. Yeah, I don't know about Smash Bros. Switch. I mean, a lot of people are saying it. It would only make sense if they did some sort of port, and that would be really good. So, all right, uh, let's see. Uh, will someone please tell me how to actually order the Switch? The Amazon link does not have it. I mean, you really have to go out to your local video game retailer, uh, Jam Jam 850. Uh, go to your local retailer the day of and hope that they have extras other than pre-orders. Uh, so it's going to be crazy. How long does a battery last? Um, that's a good question. Stick bots. Um, yeah, battery life. I don't know. I think they were saying some up to like eight hours. But, like, it depends. It depends. And uh, I'm going to be partnering up with a, um, with a, like, a portable battery company that you can easily type C, USB type C, and, like, get a battery boost off this thing. So if you're ever on a plane, you won't have to worry about the charge on your Nintendo Switch. So stay tuned for that as well. Uh, when will you play, start playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Once Embargo releases, like I talked about a little bit earlier. Oh, dude, this is great. Oh, man, Jim, you didn't have to do that, man. Jim Durham, right over here. I just wanted to help out one of my favorite YouTubers. That's super sweet of you, man. Shoutouts to Jim. Uh, he's got the super chat now, and any, any of you guys can click on this and see Jim's message. That's pretty sweet. Thank you so much, man. That, that really helps out. I can use that 20 bucks uh, <laughs> to buy it, to put it towards a pro controller. So you, you got it, man. Uh, Chi Meng Tao says, Jim Dern, I can do better. What is this going to turn into like a donation war? Come on, man. You don't have to do that. You don't have to do that. Um, I'd like to see you play Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus on the Switch. I mean, you guys know how it is with me. Like I'm, I'm one of those Nintendo, uh, let's players, streamers, YouTubers that I don't really focus on one thing. I like to do a variety of things. So you guys can count on me to do so much variety, uh, once it comes out, like, once I'm done with Zelda, I don't know how long that's going to be. Give me like two months of like Zelda though. It'll be super cool. Okay, so this is a good question. Do you prefer your Neon Joy-Con controllers or do you prefer the black one? Uh, that's really tough. You know, that's a good question because I personally have, uh, I, I wasn't the biggest fan, to be honest. I wasn't the biggest fan of these two color choices. I love this light blue, but this kind of salmon-y pink... I don't know. It's it's not really my favorite color, but after playing with these at the Chicago launch tour, it was super cool. And Jess was in love with this one. She was in love with it. She's like, please tell me you pre-ordered the pink one. And I'm like, Jess, I didn't. I didn't really like them at first. She's like, what are you doing? And then now out of nowhere, Nintendo's like, here you go. And I'm like, okay, this is great. Totally lifesaver. So now Jess can play with this one, which is her favorite color, and I can play with this one, which is my favorite color. So you know what? I love the Neon Joy-Cons. They have grown on me. Good question, Cheeseball Games. That was really good. Uh, let's see. Uh, do you find the lack of Meme Maker music upsetting? Uh, night Shift? <laughs> no, I don't really care about that. Not at all. Uh, could you play Super Mario Odyssey? Absolutely. Marlin and Cassie asked if I'm going to play Super Of course I'm going to play Mario Odyssey. See, what's great, and a lot of people are critics of how Nintendo is launching their games right now. A lot of people would give the feedback and criticism that says, hey, Nintendo, you know, where are your launch games at? You know, aside from Zelda, there's really not much else. But there's actually a lot. 
And being at the Nintendo Switch Chicago tour really spoke to me on there because you've got Disgaea 5, you got Bomber, you got Bomberman Fast Racing. You got a lot of cool things that are going to be available for you. Um, but if you think about it, if Nintendo prolonged the launch of the Switch until all the games are ready, that would be pretty bad because then it would be too many game syndrome like times a million. How am I going to juggle Splatoon 2, Mario Kart 8 Deluxe, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, and Super Mario Odyssey at the same time? So that would be very bad for sales. I love how Nintendo is just incrementally releasing these games. And then once you're pretty much done with one, a new one's going to come out. So like right now, I'm going to be playing Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild for two months straight. And then once that comes out, uh, or once it's done, Splatoon 2 is going to come out. Or Mario Kart's going to come out. Uh, and then once Mario Kart's coming out, Splatoon 2 is going to come out. And then once we're done with Splatoon 2, Super Mario Odyssey is going to come out. And then loads of other content in between. So that, in and of itself, is genius. I love the strategy. I love the marketing behind it. And plus, it gives them even more time to make the games even better than they would have been before. So super excited about that. Uh, good question, Marlon. Uh, let's see. Uh, can I play Mario Kart 8 Del DX stream? Yeah, absolutely. Arnav, Patri. Yeah, I will do that. <laughs> Once the game comes out, I'll be doing all sorts of streams. Okay, uh, you should make videos, uh, which includes Mario Kart and other games. Yeah, no doubt, dude. You got it. Please show the startup stream screen when you turn it on. Oh, I don't think I've ever done that. Let's turn this thing off. Okay. And let's turn it back on. Huh. Oh, whoa. That's cool. Good uh, good, uh, good suggestion there, bud. Uh, let me do one thing. Dun, dun, dun. So we are going to get rid of that. And then this is like the startup. Okay, so I have these. What, what can I do with this? Plus minus for featured news. Uh, press A to continue. Oh, I don't know if it's gonna work. Oh, there we go. Okay, so that was really, that was really it. So yeah, it's the same thing, but it shows like a, a, a different banner. I'll show you guys that again. So I press the power button on the Nintendo Switch. And then here you have it. So in case there's some news, it'll show up over here. If you want to ditch the news and just continue on to the game, just press the A button and you're good to go. Um, or press the plus or minus button and you should be set. But yeah, it takes it takes a couple seconds for these to actually turn on as well because I have them synced up. I noticed that. It took me two seconds before I could feel that. So that's really cool. Oh man, super awesome. So let's get that chat back. Uh, yeah, really good. That was fun. Yeah, super chat. That was that was cool too. You guys are great. Uh, let's see what happens when you insert a game. I don't know. You guys are gonna have to find out uh, as far as inserting a game goes. Because like I said, I have to record my uh, Legend of Zelda: Breath of the Wild unboxing video, and that's gonna be super cool. So I have to do that before the sun goes down. The sun's pretty much already down, man. I gotta do it. Uh, have you used the USB docks on the dock? Do you know their utility? If not, can you link it to the computer? No, there's not going to be a way that you can link your USB on the dock to the computer to transfer gameplay. I don't think that that's going to be a thing. Um, but I think that the USB, he's referencing these right here. So if you look right here, uh, there's two USB ports right over here. I believe that you can put a, a jump drive in case. I don't know. I've never really tested it. If you have a jump drive like this one, SanDisk, uh, you can put it in there and potentially use it for storage. I can only imagine that this would um, allow the use for the Nintendo, what is that, the, the wire, not the wireless, the GameCube adapter. So putting the GameCube adapter into these two, that's what I could assume that it's for, or just using it as like storage. But I don't think that there's gonna be a way of capturing your gameplay footage through this. No, I don't think so. Because that's what capture cards are for, right Gizmo? Oh, okay. Well, Gizmo says it's time for his dinner, so I got a good five minutes to chat with you guys. Ah, uh, Gizmo, come here, buddy. Oh, Gizmo. Everyone say hello to Gizmo. Gizmo's excited for the... Why are you excited for the Nintendo Switch, dude? Why? Tell me why. Because I got a pin? I got you a pin? You got a Nintendo Switch pin? Did any of you guys get Nintendo Switch pins if you guys went out to the, um, the event? I got one Nintendo Switch pin. Ugh. I got one right over here. Bam, this is the Nintendo Switch pen. Gizmo, you want this? You like this thing? Come here, dude. Come here, buddy. 
This is for you. Oh, no, don't eat it. <laughs> this is for Gizmo. I'm going to put it on his collar, and he's going to look super sweet. But, yeah, Nintendo Switch pin, very cool. I can easily put it right here. Bam! And I'll be set to go with some swag. Uh, yeah, that was Gizmo for you. Ooh, ooh, Gizmo, you're shedding, dude. He's shedding his winter coat. Chicago, the winter is just about done here. Uh, let's see. Is there basic... Hold on, I want to read this one. Is there basic internet browser for hotel Wi-Fi? You know, I don't think so. At least not yet. I haven't seen any kind of internet browser functionality within the Nintendo Switch. But again, we don't know what's going to happen in the future. All right. Uh, let's see. Do you know uh, about the sleep mode screen secret sounds? No, I don't know anything about secret sounds on sleep mode. Oh, hey, dude. Okay. <laughs> Gizmo, do you know about this, the secret sounds in the sleep mode? If you know anything about that, let me shoot me... Um, Shoot me a Twitter DM. I'd like to, or a, a tweet at me with that. I don't know anything about that. Secret sound in sleep mode? How do we do that? So if I go like this, sleep mode. Okay, so it's asleep. How do I get out of sleep mode? Do I have to yell, okay, Nintendo Switch, wake up? Or I think I just press anything on it. Press the power button. Yeah, power button does it. I don't know. That's uh, interesting. <laughs> that is interesting. What's inside the Nintendo Switch dock? Uh, Torchite, the Fire Hedgehog. There's nothing inside the Nintendo Switch dock. It's empty. You just click it on in there. Oh, good job, Gizmo. Uh, yeah, so that's really it, ladies and gentlemen. That's all the questions uh, that I have time for on this live stream. Um, unless you want to do a couple more, but... We're good. This is really good. I want to get going. I've got an unboxing video for you guys to watch. Uh, so that's going to come out a little bit later on today. So stay tuned for it. It'll be super fun. But, oh man, it's going to be good. But yeah, that's that's really all I've got. What else you got? Uh, do I love Pokemon? I love Pokemon, yes. Are you going to play Pokemon Go? That's not really Nintendo Switch related. Give me some Nintendo Switch questions. Uh, do you think Nintendo Switch will be Nintendo's most successful console? It's going to be hard to top the Nintendo Wii. I'm telling you, Nintendo Wii was so groundbreaking, but only time will tell. I know that Nintendo has been putting a lot of eggs in their basket when it comes to marketing and sending out the message that this is a brand new console and it's not just a sequel or an add-on like the Wii U supposedly was where everyone didn't think it was a brand new console. But yeah, I, I'm, I have really high hopes. And you guys know that I'm going to be supporting... Uh, I'm going to be supporting it as well, so that's going to be super fun. So let's get rid of that, and we're good. Yeah, that's that's awesome. You guys are great. Thanks for coming out. Will I do a giveaway of a Nintendo Switch? Yeah, you got an extra 400 bucks laying around? Yeah, maybe. Maybe. Uh, it, would you guys like one? I can I can round up 400 bucks for you guys and sponsor out a Nintendo Switch if you guys want me to do a giveaway. I know we'll be doing a giveaway of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild, so look forward to that. I'll have that up for you guys within the week. Uh, you guys can enter it, we'll do a copy of this, and some other fun stuff like the Amiibo. But right now, I gotta go get myself ready for a mass recording session starting from here all the way up until the third. It's gonna be awesome. So make sure that you guys are all subscribed, right? Click on that subscribe button. Don't miss out on any of this content. But yeah, that's it. Ladies and gentlemen, again, again, I cannot thank Nintendo enough uh, for allowing me to stream all of this fun stuff for you guys. Hopefully you guys found this uh, video very helpful in order to generate hype around the Nintendo Switch. Again, shout out to Nintendo for doing all of that. But I'm going to give you guys a little bit of a cool sneak peek as to my end card. So thank you guys so much for watching. Boom, right here, baby. This is it. Sneak peek, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild end card. This is going to be awesome. Within, uh, oh, what's this over here? Oh, yeah, that's my box. That's my Nintendo Switch box. Yeah, you can't do that. Go hide. <laughs> but, yeah, Nintendo Switch is going to be amazing. So, thank you guys so much for coming out. Um, Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild is going to be crazy. You can count on me to blow up your sub boxes once embargo lifts. And we'll be doing live streams on Twitch and YouTube all throughout the upcoming month. So stay tuned for it. Now's a great time to subscribe. Uh, we are going to be doing a giveaway of Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild and some other cool goodies. So stay tuned to that. You guys can watch the entire Nintendo Switch playlist. I got a bunch of news and other kind of videos inside there. You guys can watch the newest video on my channel there. And of course, some recommendations there. Loads of other 
content coming your way. Make sure you click on that subscribe button. And uh, man, I'm just so pumped up. Thank you guys for coming out to the stream and we'll see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.